Let's get to a new thing, job security. And this time it's about Mike Tomlin. You know what's funny? I could think of three coaches that could get away with Sunday what Mike Tomlin got away with. Their names are Mike Tomlin, maybe Bill Belichick, and that's like hanging by a thread right now, and Sean McVay because they just won the Super Bowl. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, they just, I mean, they have heard it from the media and especially the stupid, undeserving fans who I, I wish were just rot. All those Steelers fans that were crying for Kenny Pickett and have once, and I'll say it again, ever since Trubisky got there, they want to slice that dude's head off and throw it out the window, throw it into the ocean. They have never given that dude a chance. Okay? Every single week, there was a new fan on Twitter saying, look at who he missed on this play. Forget the fact that the dude was double covered. Forget the fact that he was rolling out to his right. He should have thrown a cross field to his left. It was like three guys in the NFL can do. No. We, we, we really want Kenny Pickett, man. We just got to have Kenny Pickett. He's just so much better, which is a lie. You know why he's so much better? Because the media told you that, but that's not my business. So they, they wanted him. Kenny Pickett all week long, prior to the game against the Jets, had not taken a single snap with the starters. Okay? Mike Tomlin, this, I, I, oh, oh. Mike Tomlin, I'm beginning to lose a lot of respect for because of, he's just an underachieving coach, man. Oh, they play hard from, I, I don't care. They never miss the playoffs, I don't care. How many times he had a great roster and stunk it up in, in the postseason? I'm sorry. Like Steelers fans, you know, y'all are so busy about Mike Tomlin this my, my, and Jesus Tomlin. No, no, he's not. He's not a good coach. He, he's just the guy. It's like Bill Belichick in New England. The voice is getting old, man. Like, move on. So Mike Tomlin, in a sense of desperation, I think I'm pretty sure the game was tied at halftime. It was right there. Mitchell Trubisky gets benched. Wow. Yep. Just <laughs> And it's funny because you basically set yourself up not to fail here. Because if Kenny Pickett stinks it up, which he did, then, oh, he, he'll have a week of practice. He, he's got to grow. Let's see what we have with the young guy. Why did you sign Trubisky then? People are so twisted with this situation, and I don't understand the reason why. You signed the guy who is the most sought-after backup. And I wish he hadn't have gone to Pittsburgh because the team is big. I watched a couple of plays where George Pickens, sorry, bum self, just stop running around. Just stop running. Just stop running. Forget the fact that your guy is trying to fight for extra yards. I'm just sitting on the sidelines just chill. Screw you and all your teammates. I love that there's this new life in Pittsburgh. We all want a Kenny Pickett the whole time. Yeah, no crap. We know you want a Kenny Pickett. I, oh, when this team continues to lose and suck every single week, I'm going to pile on. I'm going to keep laughing in their face because that whole fan base deserves it. I don't care who you are. There is no reason why Kenny Pickett should have come into that game. But if you heard those fans in that stadium, oh, my goodness. You saw the people under Adam Schefter's tweets. Oh, my goodness. The second coming, he is here. He is right. you all understand how average this dude is? Someone mentioned to me, the Kenny Pickett scored two touchdowns in one quarter. And Trubisky hadn't done that all season. Okay, okay. I love the, the Tom Brady treatment that, that Kenny Pickett's getting, getting right now. I really do. Kenny Pickett throws 
three interceptions because two of them are long balls. And I told you he doesn't have a strong arm, but no one cares. There was another one where Chase Clay, like, the, 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 I forgot what it was, but he, it went through Chase Clay. But something about like that throw wasn't, wasn't like, was on Kenny as well. But it's just baffling to me. Because the defense got him a start like the, the plus 25. You better score a touchdown with a plus 25, pal. And it's funny because coming into this week, all the Trubisky haters, a.k.a. Steelers fans, were like, oh, here's a throw to the middle of the field. <laughs> That's literally all he threw to the entire first half. And then they start, the, the announcers start raving about just, oh, he can escape the pocket. H- how many... How many times has Trubisky ran for his life this year? That's called escaping the pockets. So what did Kenny pick and do differently? Oh, I know what he did. He turned the ball over. Ah, uh, see, Trubisky didn't even do all that. Trubisky was actually doing pretty good. But you know what? You know what? Oh, this is again. I hope you guys lose every single game for the rest of the season. I hope Kenny, I hope Kenny Pickett falls flat on his face. I'm serious. Like there, it would be no better way to, for my season to be than the Steelers to go with Kenny Pickett because the fans told him to, and he smells it up. I'm, oh, it's gonna be great. The room, the pitch, the entire stadium's gonna stink. A, a breath of fans is getting mad. They're not satisfied with anything. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Go ahead, throw them in there. Yep. It, 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 it's wild to me how these players, these millionaires, can get away with just just not playing for a guy until the rookie comes in. Oh, all of a sudden, because we heard that from the fans that this guy stinks, we like our guy, so we're gonna play hard for him. What? Ah. Uh, this cannot go any better. If you're gonna find Deontay Johnson you cannot catch a football anymore. You guys are well. Let me tell you how well off the Steelers are. Mike Tom's gonna lose his job in two years tops. I have never wanted this organization to fail more. People are like, oh, you're such a Trubisky apologist. Yeah, cool, great. Maybe because Trubisky was a couple of Cody Parkey double doings away. From beating the Eagles in the playoffs the same year they won the Super Bowl. But remember, it was all it was all Mitch Trubisky. It, it, it was the, he was the reason why Allen Robinson sucks. Even no way, Robinson cannot throw cannot catch a pass. He can't get open. And then Matt Nagy, God knows, doesn't even have a job anymore. But yeah, all Trubisky. Yep. Let me tell you, it's going to be fun. Steelers, it's going to be a fun year for y'all. And the excuse will be, oh, he needs a year to grow. Yeah. So why why didn't you arrest him, huh? You were that bent? Because when one of the fans told me, like, they I love how they set themselves up not to be wrong in their eyes. They say, oh, yeah, for sure. Like, we, we're supposed to put the young guy in, and if, and if he sticks it up, he's still learning. What, what, hold on now. What is Trubisky going to do? Like, Y'all are just running him out of town? But the young guy, he just needed help. You can't have it both ways. You can't say he gives us a better chance to win and the same breath say, if he stinks it up, it's not his fault. Yes, it is. Because you asked for this. Cool. 